Hello, I am Marty Chazen, president of Temple Beth Shalom, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of you next Wednesday, June 8th at 7 p.m. for the congregation's 81st annual meeting. The meeting will be held in person in our sanctuary and will be followed by dessert, which weather permitting, we will have in and around our reimagined and newly renovated sukkah area. For those of you unable to attend in person, the meeting will also be live streamed. As we did last year, we want to devote as much of the meeting as possible to recognize our staff, teachers, and members of our congregation for their contributions over the past year. So, once again, we've created a short video of a few of the reports that are delivered each year at our annual meeting. In the next few minutes, you'll hear reports from our executive director, our treasurer, and the leaders of Chazak, Sisterhood, and Men's Club. To kick things off, I introduce now Ron Safir, our executive director, for some brief remarks about the year. Thank you, Marty, and thank you for all that you do for TBS. You have two full-time jobs. One is a paid position that allows you to make a living. The other is a volunteer position that allows you to make a big difference for our synagogue. Your time and effort are very much appreciated. Thank you again. And thank you to those of you who are viewing our annual reports virtually. This past year was another year that was filled with not only wonderful programming, but it was also a year in which we made significant building improvements. Through a program with PSE&G, we installed new HVAC units and we installed LED lighting throughout the interior and exterior of the building, both of which will help us be greener for the environment while saving on our utility expenses. And thanks to government grants, PSE&G pays for 70% of the cost and we pay 30% of the cost, payable over five years at 0% interest, a win-win scenario for sure. This past year, we also installed an interactive yard site display board outside the Memorial Alcove, thanks to a very generous donation from Judy and Bernie Platt. Please contact the office if you would like to purchase a plaque in the Memorial Alcove, which includes a digital listing on the yard site display board. One of the best features of the electronic yard site display board is that you can include a bio and photos of your loved ones, and your family can view this via a link on our website no matter where they live. And we are also nearing the completion of a wonderful renovation of the sukkah area, thanks to a very generous donation from Emily and Milk Gottschalk and the Mildred M. Soffer Foundation. This is going to be a beautiful space that will be used not only during Sukkot, but for various programming all year round. We very much appreciate the very generous contributions of all of our donors, our plus givers, our corporate sponsors, our life and legacy participants, and the membership of our congregation at large. We could not do what we do without you, and we truly thank you for all your financial support. This past year was yet again a fluid COVID year that required us to shift how we operated at times with services, with programming, with our early childhood education center, and with building operations. And although COVID created various challenges throughout the year, we have an amazing staff who were able to provide all the programming that makes us who we are. It is a true team effort by the entire TBS staff. Part of what we do at the annual meeting is recognize our staff who are celebrating milestone anniversaries with TBS. All you need to do is look at any edition of our community life book, one of the Thursday weekly emails, one of the weekly Shabbat announcements, or the weekly emails from the ECEC, religious school and high school, to get a sense of what takes place here at TBS on any given week. None of that would be possible without the hard work of our dedicated staff. It is no easy task during normal times, and especially during COVID times, producing top-notch programming, classes, and services. The roles of these TBS employees who are receiving the Staff Years of Service Award are crucial to the growth of our students as well as the successful daily operations of our synagogue. And we thank you not only for your years of service, but for your loyalty and dedication. In recognition of their years of service, these individuals will each receive a certificate acknowledging their tenure here at TBS. 
These certificates are from the JNF, certifying that trees have been planted in Israel in the name of these individuals in honor of their service and dedication to TBS. The future growth of these trees represents the future growth of our school, our students, and our synagogue. And the following recipients of the Staff Years of Service Award are helping to plant the seeds for this growth by performing the tasks that they are responsible for. Chaya Amar, a member of our religious school and our ECEC faculty, celebrating 20 years at TBS. Kara Ad, a member of our ECEC faculty, celebrating five years at TBS. Sue K. Levine, a member of our religious school faculty and B'nai Mitzvah tutor, celebrating 20 years. Steve McGowan, our facility manager, celebrating 25 years at TBS. Mindy Rosenblum, a member of our ECEC faculty, celebrating 10 years. Joni Schwartz, a member of our ECEC faculty, celebrating 30 years at TBS. And Annie Siegel, our director of the Eric B. Jacobs Early Childhood Education Center, celebrating five years at TBS. Mazel tov to each of you, and thank you again for all that you do for our synagogue and the TBS community. I want to close by acknowledging all the amazing committees and volunteers that we have, and we have many, who contribute so much time and effort to perform the work that they each do. I particularly want to highlight our medical professionals and members of our COVID task force for your countless hours of early mornings, late nights, and weekend phone calls, emails, texts, Zoom calls, and in-person meetings to guide us through this pandemic. We could not do it without you. I also want to acknowledge Howard Silverstone and Mark Oppen and the entire finance committee for all the hours that you devote to help create a balanced budget, which is no easy task, and for ensuring that our synagogue is and remains financially sound. And lastly, one housekeeping note. Membership renewal for the coming year was rolled out several weeks ago. If you have not already, please submit your membership renewal ASAP. If you need the link for the online membership renewal form or prefer a hard copy of the renewal paperwork, please contact the office. We do need to implement a modest dues increase for the coming year as a result of the rising cost of goods and services to operate the synagogue. If you are able to contribute more this year, we thank you in advance. If synagogue dues will create a financial hardship for your family, please reach out to me in confidence. We'll make it work. Thank you very much for your time and for your support. I will now turn it over to Howard Silverstone, who will tell you further how well we are doing. Thank you, Ron. Hello, I'm Howard Silverstone, TBS Treasurer. As I finish my third and final year as Treasurer, we seem to be slowly coming out of the throes of the pandemic. This past year, the Executive Committee and Board, under the leadership of Marty Chazen, together with the continued generosity of our congregation, prior assistance through COVID via two payment protection program loans that were forgiven, and the work of our amazing TBS professional and administrative team will all help towards us finishing the current fiscal year in a healthy financial position, with the plan for a balanced budget for the coming year, and once again, in a strong cash position heading into the next fiscal year. In addition, we will finally pay off the mortgage on our building. As always, our largest revenue line is membership, which includes dues and high holiday pledges. This is over 50% of our total revenues. Once again this year, we surpassed our budget for high holiday pledges, and I hope you will all be able to contribute once again to surpass last year. I would like to thank all of our congregants for the incredible support, and also thank our plus givers whose additional revenue not only assists TBS, but assists those congregants who face challenges. Our schools, which I have noted in prior years, account for over 25% of our budget, continue to be led commendably by Alex Weinberg and Annie Siegel. Looking back at my three years as treasurer, the work they have done, along with the clergy and the teaching staff, through the most challenging times and within their budgets has just been incredible. In addition, thanks to the generosity of our congregation, we have numerous endowments 
that support myriad programs and scholarships. During my tenure as treasurer, I have been fortunate to work alongside our executive director, Ron Safir, whose commitment working with the professional staff and the office team is greatly appreciated. It is no easy task to manage the day-to-day -day operations and associated expenses. Certainly here, the results of the combined effort of each individual are highlighted, and the entire staff of TBS have helped us maintain a healthy financial picture at a time when it is most needed. We are fortunate to be in a strong financial position, but the hard work needs to continue. However, with Mark Oppen taking the helm as treasurer, with a stellar finance committee, and with the continued generosity and support of you, the congregation, I have no doubt we will continue to flourish. Thank you. And now to present the Hazak Report, Charles Goldstein. Thank you, Howard. Hello, everyone, and greetings from Hazak. Congratulations to all the service award recipients. Chazak has presented a varied and international program this past year, visiting Spain, Iran, Paris, Israel, and Eastern Europe. We've heard music from Hollywood to Nashville to New York. And next year, we'll learn about French food, Jewish Amsterdam, and Rome, and Broadway, and the first children in the White House. We'll have a trip to New York, hopefully, with a mafia history theme. Now, although our income has been limited this past year, it's our pleasure to present TBS with $3,600 as a gift. I want to thank the congregation for its support and the Chazak board for all the work that it does that makes the organization work so well. A welcome to our incoming president of Chazak, someone well known to all of us, Dr. Alvin Stern. I hope you have a wonderful and safe, healthful summer. And now, may I introduce Mike Perlow. Thanks, Charles. I'm honored to have the opportunity to report to the Board of Directors and our congregation on the continued success of TBS Men's Club. My first year as Men's Club president brought with it many learning experiences, but more than anything, great pride in all that we accomplished together. Our leadership team, including Vice President Nuri Boardman, Treasurer Howard Sukunik, Secretary David Gantz, and Marketing Eric Schwartz, was made even stronger by the formation of a small general board that includes Mark Dannenbaum, Ross Barr, Josh Axelrod, and Ian Silverman. I mentioned Ian last as he will be honored as our Orin Klein Memorial Man of the Year at our end of year barbecue on June 23rd. With the leadership and support of our executive and general board members, we began the year in great style with steak and scotch outdoors under the TBS tent. It was a night of great food, amazing scotch, lots of fun, and we even raised money and collected in-kind donations for the Animal Welfare Association. In October, we had a great event at Ram Arcade, playing classic video games over dinner and beer. From old school to the future, we held our second business networking event at Tesla of Cherry Hill, the evening started with the opportunity to actually drive a Tesla, followed by food and drinks, lots of business networking, including an opportunity for each of us to speak about what we do professionally. We capped the event with our always popular raffle, which featured a weekend with a Tesla. To date, all vehicles were returned at the time they were expected back to the dealership. In December, Men's Club partnered with Sisterhood for a great evening of, for a Hanukkah celebration of latkes and laps. In February, we brought worldwide rap to our TBS Morning Minion in person and virtually, and we treated those in person to breakfast following the Minion. In late February, our annual Men's Club Shabbat was meaningful in ways we couldn't have possibly imagined heading into the weekend. On Friday night, our Shabbat service and family dinner were great as always, 
but it was Shabbat morning that really meant something special. There were more congregants sitting in the main sanctuary here at TBS for Men's Club Shabbat than had been there since the start of the pandemic in early 2020. All of us who are part of TBS Men's Club took great pride in helping bring back so many people back home to TBS. On a lighter note, unless you're holding one, we gave axe throwing a try in March as part of a joint event with Young, young Members Group. There is absolutely no truth to the rumor that I lost horribly to Rabbi Wexler in the playoff round. We attended the FJMC Man of the Year dinner where our own past president, Drew Burak, was honored as our Man of the Year. Muzzle tov again to Drew. Our now annual Seder Summit was held indoors due to inclement weather, but that kept very few from attending the event. Rabbi Peltz and Wexler, as well as Alex, all brought some great Passover learning to the event. Sadly, we did have to postpone our planned overnight trip to Cooperstown, New York, but it's an event we hope to reimagine for the year to come, even if the Yankees somehow win the World Series. As I mentioned earlier, our final event of this year is our end-of-year barbecue on Thursday, June 23rd. The event is free to attend for all dues-paying members. If you are not one, but curious to get a taste of Men's Club, I personally invite you to be my guest at our end of year barbecue. Please email me at mensclub at tbsonline.org and I will get you registered. Last year at this time, we proudly increased our contribution to TBS by 15%. I'm thrilled to share that Men's Club is increasing its donation this time by, by a lucky 13% to a total of $9,000. Finally, I want to thank Rabbi Peltz, Rabbi Wexler, Rabbi Lindemann, Kenner Cohen, Alex, Ron, and the entire TBS staff for all of its support throughout the year. We've already, we're already brainstorming some great new events for this summer and the year to come. If you've never attended a Men's Club event, or it's just been a long time, whether you're 21, 81, or somewhere in between, we welcome you to join us anytime, particularly at our upcoming end-of-year barbecue. I hope to see you then. And now I'd like to introduce Ruth Abrams, Sisterhood President. Ruth. Thanks, Mike. Hi, I'm Ruth Abrams, Sisterhood President. Typically, when the Sisterhood President gives her address for the annual meeting, she gives her speech, and then at the end, there's the dramatic reveal of the amount of the Sisterhood gift. This gift comes from our fundraisers like Bingo, Mishloach Manot, and from funds contributed from the gift shop. I have a spoiler alert. I won't be reporting our gift in this address, but later on in June after our last fundraiser. I hope you will stay tuned in because there's much more to sisterhood than our fundraising abilities. There is a friendship we experience when we get together to learn Israeli dancing in the sukkah, when we bake babka over Zoom, or make beautiful Hamza pillows together with YMG. There is a learning we experienced at the Breast Cancer Prevention Program with Caring Sisters, Torah Study with Rabbi Peltz, and the Author Program with Gabrielle Glazer, talking about her book, American Baby. And let's not forget our Jewish and Steminist Talmud and Tierra's program with Jane Lindemann. There is a fun we had traveling virtually with Hazak during a tour of Jewish Paris touring Longwood Gardens with Canner Cohen for Sect in the City, and having a night out with Men's Club at Lakas and Laughs. And just as important, there's our commitment to Chesed. Our Torah Fund campaign raised $16,824. Those funds go towards the support of the five seminaries of the conservative movement. In addition, this year, Sisterhood members made a significant impact to Lucy Outreach by donating over $1,100 that will go towards the kitchen in their new building. We also collected books, snacks, games, arts and crafts, supplies, gloves, scarves, and blankets. We baked dozens of cookies on mitzvah day and cooked a delicious meal for the youth with YMG and the Social Action Committee. It was a busy year for Sisterhood. We had 20 programs and five fundraisers since September. Thank you to the Sisterhood Executive Committee, Board, Gift Shop Team, and members who give of their hearts and their time to our wonderful TBS Sisterhood. Thank you, Ruth. And thank you to all of our presenters. 
We look forward to seeing all of you next Wednesday, June 8th, at 7 p.m. at the annual meeting, as we install the congregation's officers and directors and recognize and thank those members of our board who are completing their terms. We will also recognize our annual TBS Service Award recipients, recognize certain members of the TBS staff, and present our inaugural Mara Claire Speckler Excellence in Teaching Award. And of course, we also will present the David J. Levy Award to Margie Dannenbaum. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.